there's this judge, it was a good looking judge too. Oh. Um, uh, he says that a convicted, there he is. Yeah. So there's a, a judge named, uh, uh, he's a Queens branch, Queens bench, Queens bench uh, judge, uh, Robert Dewar. Uh, and he sentenced a guy named Kenneth Rhodes uh, to a two year conditional sentence last week, which means probation. Right, you're not yeah. going to jail. Um, the, the guy got convicted of rape but he got the two-year conditional sentence. Oh, no. Seems fair. Um, uh, because uh, the victim in the case, the, guy he, the woman he raped, uh, quote, uh, sent signals uh, that, quote, sex was in the air. <laughs> That's what the guy said. Sex was in the air. Uh, and that sex was, was in the air? Yeah, so, ah, come on. You got convicted. The jury said you did it, but sex was in the air. First of all, he looks like one of the soggies from, like, Cookie Crisp. So I don't think yeah. he's really an authority figure. Second of all, who uses phrases like sex was in the air? Look at his mouth. Yeah, look at the mustache that yeah. comes down like a walrus. <laughs> he looks like uh, he looks like bib. he looks like Wilfred Brimley's uh, much younger, thinner brother. If if um, he looks like Wilfred Brimley after the lap band. He looks like if Wilfred Brimley and Steve Jobs had a love child. <laughs> it would be Mr. Uh, Bib and Bowtie. It does, he does look like that. But how old is this? I mean, sex was in the air, like after coming back from the cotillion? I mean, who even talks like that? Why would you trust somebody like this to make a decision? Um, uh, but, uh, first of all, I love making fun of Canada, even mm. though it's great. So, uh, so first of all, sex was in the air because of her suggestive attire and flirtatious conduct. I mean, sure. it's, so, it's like 1800. Um, she got a two year convicted sentence. Uh, allows him to remain free in the community. It's already funny because it says community. A decision likely to trigger strong debate. The Crown wanted at least three years behind bars. The Crown. Like, give it up. You're Canada. You don't have a Crown. <laughs> um, Queen's Bench Judge uh, Robert Dewar called Rhodes, quote, a clumsy Don Juan. Oh. He's a rapist, man. <laughs> just a clumsy Don Juan. He may have misunderstood what the victim wanted when he forced intercourse. May have understood. He forced intercourse along a darkened he highway. Gingerly removed her pantaloons. <laughs> oh, outside Thompson in 2006. Uh, anyway, the circumstances were they, they they met and they went to a they went into the woods, um, and then they were you know and then they kissed and then obviously she rejected him and then sure. they kissed and then obviously she said no and the right. jury found out and and uh. the jury seemed to agree with it. But um, she now she's obviously she says she has ongoing fear to the attack. And I'm not mocking, obviously, this guy just belongs in jail. But her big finish about, like, her permanent scar for life, and I, and I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. But then, then she doesn't, I'm not mocking her, because this guy belongs in prison. We're in agreement. Can we shake hands on that? Yeah. Belongs in prison. <laughs> in a victim impact statement, uh, the woman described her ongoing fear related to the attack. I'm a prisoner in my own home. She Fair enough. Okay. The woman said she bears a permanent reminder of what Rhodes did to her. Sure. A scar on her knee. Oh. It doesn't, I have a scar on my knee from playing softball. I'm just saying. Right, but when you look at it, you're like, hey, check this out. I got this from uh, stealing uh, third. Right. Not, I got this from being, you know, forced onto my stomach while a man penetrated me. I know. I would have just left it at I'm a prisoner in my own home. But do you understand? Like, it's not because the scar is is anything significant physically. I know. You I know. Don't, I, look, you I'm don't a dick. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying that if I'm doing the, <laughs> if I'm editing her victim impact statement. Maybe just a little white out. Right. I'm just, I'm just saying we can, let's frame this, Dan, because she was obviously a victim of a horrific crime. Sure. And this guy belongs in prison. Yes. I'm a 100% on her side. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 100%. Yep, sure. I was just like, scar on her knee. I was reading. I'm like, oh, come on. Come on. Better. She's we always, can... she'll always be reminded from this hangnail. <laughs> right, that's all. About this is, yeah. Here's, here's my take on, on rape and rape victims. And uh, this is not going to be anything that I don't think you could figure out, uh, you couldn't figure out yourself. But I, obviously, like most of society, I don't care if she was in her tube top with no bra and she was running around naked and she was, she, and she said, I want to have sex with you. The second she says, I don't want to have sex with you anymore, you stop. Yes. Now, you don't call the bitch again, and right. you lose her number because she's a jerk, mm -hmm. but you stop having sex with her. It's not that hard. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it can be done. Yeah. Like, it's annoying. But, I mean, yeah. she like she sucks, and you don't ever have to call her back. Right. But you, you stop. Right. It's yeah. not, you, you can stop. Sure. It's possible to stop. Right. We're, we're, not, we're not that hardwired to finish this process.